Hello everyone, it's Danielle and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. So I have a card idea for you that takes minutes to do. I use a similar card idea every year when I send out my daughter's picture, her school picture. And I think it's a good size card for pictures three by five or smaller. Um, the design is quite simple. I use an embossing folder and ink for the sentiment on the inside of the card. And I make a matching envelope. Um, it's quick, it's simple, and you can create these in batch. Uh, but before I delve in, if you aren't already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And thanks in advance. So the overall card design, uh, card design is a uh, simple, and I use an embossing uh, technique. I felt that the embossing folder would enhance the plain craft card and the envelope. Um, and it's really, really easy to do. It's one of the first things I started to buy um, and to use often when I first began card making. I just like the, the impression. All right, so all, the, all the products I use will either be listed in a link or listed directly in the description of this video, so check it out. Um, the card sets I'm using are from Recollections. I actually bought these from Michaels a few years ago. Um, it has both the card and the matching envelope, so I use those. I'm using Waffle Flower Stamp Set. Uh, it's called Big Dots Sentiments. Big Dots Sentiments, right? Um, and I'm using the sentiment that says Sending Happy Mail. And the Darice Hello Embossing Folder. Um, it has many different variations or it has different variations of the word hello. All right. So first I use the embossing folder on the card. Um, I'm going to take the card. I'm going to try to position it so I can get a few variations of the word hello. And it's important that you, uh, you get at least one full word hello. <laughs> um, I think that's a a good design element. You don't want to have all the hellos or the highs chopped off. So get at least one full word that says hello. Um, and the rest you can, you know, cut off. And the recipient will get the idea. Um, all right. So I'm trying to do my best to, to posi uh, excuse me, position it so I can at least get one full word hello. And once I do that, I'm going to take that embossing or take the embossing folder in the card and run it through my die cutting machine. And it takes a few minutes and um, I'm using a big shot. Now you would have to look at your own machine and look at um, the little platform and it'll tell you how to make your sandwich. I have a magnetic uh, platform. So it's a little thinner than the normal plates. Uh, so I created my own sandwich and it's, it happens to be my magnetic platform, the embossing folder. I use a little shimmy um, and then the top, um, the top layer. And that's enough. It gets a good impression and it's not too bulky. So after I emboss the card, I'm now going to emboss the uh, flap, only the flap of the envelope. Um, it's enough to make a good impression or, you know, it's enough to kind of highlight and match the card. Uh, so I thought that was a good idea. And again, you want to do your best to try to get, um, if you can't get the full word hello, at least get a hi uh, or hello, hi. I think it had hello, hi. And it's like different um sizes and different variations but anyway you just try to get the element so people uh the recipient will know oh it says hello um but i think it's not too hard <laughs> it's not too hard to figure out it's just a design element okay anyway i don't want to ramble on about that so simply you run the card and the envelope through the um uh put it inside the embossing folder you run it through your die cutting machine And now I'm ready to stamp the inside of the card and I'm using my sentiment, the Waffle Flowers uh, Big Dot Sentiment stamp set. I'm going to stamp sending a sending happy mail inside. I use Lawn Fawn's um, 
Walnut Dye Ink. Yeah. Because I want it kind of a, that, that brown color. So I thought it, I thought it coordinated well. Um, so I'm going to stamp that a couple of times. I'm using my stamping platform. Um, and by the way, you'll notice I have repurposed my air hockey paddle. Uh, I, I see other products on the market. Um, I refuse to buy <laughs> to buy any of them. Uh, so I said, oh, I'll just repurpose, repurpose my air hockey uh, paddle just to see if I notice a difference. And I, I suppose I do. I'm getting a good impression. Um, it's not that hard to do. <laughs> I rub it across. Um, I don't have anything to compare it to. Uh, but again, I refuse to buy these tools, <laughs> at least those tools. I, I was continuing to <clears throat> to use my brayer, and I think I used my, my hand. So I guess I can compare it to the brayer. Um, I get a good impression. So overall, it works. So if you happen to have air hockey pa uh, paddles, and there you go. <laughs> works well I can vouch for it all right and so that's <clears throat> excuse me I'm losing my voice here I'm getting laryngitis you guys <laughs> uh, that's a whole nother story but anyway that's the card I'm showing you the card I just made on the video that's the one I made prior in total I'm making 10 cards um, I made them in batch and I did that in minutes and there you go um, it looks so pretty it's crisp and pretty uh, quick design it enhances the card I like it all right so that's the card enjoy the pictures uh, thank you for visiting and and watching my video I appreciate it be sure to like comment and subscribe um, if you like the video and if you don't there's a thumbs down button you can push that too uh, my feelings won't be hurt uh, too bad I, I guess um, but any engagement is okay with me. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.